23 minutes past the top of the hour. So glad to have you with us. Hopefully you can hang out with us uh, for a little while. We're going to open up the phone lines here uh, shortly, but uh, joining us live is Allie Tower. She's a follower of Jesus Christ now. But boy, I tell you what, she really uh, quite literally went to the dark side. Uh, she's a former witch, and she's unpacking her story, and I so appreciate uh, the fact that she's willing to do that. She's written a couple of books, Taken from the Night, and also From the Craft to Christ. So, Allie, let's pick up uh, here. You were in the midst of this difficult marriage. Did did the marriage end in divorce? Um, yeah, we ended up, after time, it was definitely over a period of time, um, because we did try to work things out for a long time, but it just, um, you know, wasn't wasn't working that way. Okay, so here you are in the midst of all this, you're disillusioned, you felt abandoned by God as you were trying to live a godly life. What was it that really pushed you into or encouraged you to embrace the supernatural in the form of Wicca and, and witchcraft? What Do you remember that moment? Uh, yes, I do. I actually was in a really desperate place um, considering everything that was going on in my life. And I was literally on my living room floor, and I was ready to just give up because I really felt that, you know, God had abandoned me and I was all alone and nothing was working right. And I was just ready to just give up. And there um, there was a book on the shelf that actually my, my husband at the time had um, brought into the marriage. And I, I had never had any interest to read it, but all of a sudden this one day, um, it just kind of almost fell out in front of me and I picked it up and began to read it. And it was actually, um, Mike Warnicke's book on, uh, the Satan seller. Mm -hmm. And I started to read it. It's a Christian book. It's supposed to, you know, tell you about, um, how he became a Christian after having been a Satanist. But I can say honestly that when I read the book, I, you know, sat down and started to read it, that I, I just kind of, entirely different feel out of it and I and I felt as though it wasn't truthful and there was things that I wanted to prove and considering I was in just a really messed up place spiritually you know and doubting the word of God anyway um, you know it was not a good combination I went to the library and I began to research and pretty quickly narrowed it down away from you know Satanism or anything of that nature, and I stumbled upon Wicca, which to me just absolutely sounded wonderful at the time. It was it was a religion that was talking about harmony and peace with um, you know all of nature and all mankind, and to me that's what I was really searching for was peace because my life was just a complete mess at that time. See, a lot of people don't realize that, that the allure of witchcraft is something maybe different than what we uh, expect, you know? I mean, we picture uh, witches caricatured, of course, riding brooms and things like this, and and yet the the Wicca religion is is very different in its presentations. However, it is, that's evil, bottom line, isn't it? That's correct. Um, you know, it seems like it's such a a like just a really wonderful place to be. You know, when I first started to read about it, it was just like, wow, this is everything I've ever wanted or or looked for or expected to have. And there's you know there's power in, but it's supposed to be for the good. So. Um, you know, whatever you need or want in your life, any changes that you want to make, um, there was, there was, you know, it was at your fingertips. You could go for it and Mm. you could do it yourself. Why why do you think there's a great attraction among, uh, young girls, uh, when it comes to Wicca? It seems like when you look at the statistics, this (laughs) really seems to attract a lot of, uh, you know, preteen and teenage women. I mean, what is, what is up with that? What is the appeal for them? I think there's, you know, several things. One, of course, is the fact that it's very much, there's the emphasis is on the goddess. So there there are a lot of uh, women or young girls who, you know, feel that their part in society is is the weaker part or, you know, not quite as, as important as a male's role. Yeah. 
And so, you know, it's it's that striving to be important, to to make a difference, to you know, be somebody. Mm-hmm. And I think that, you know, that's that's part of it, certainly part of it. And the other is the fact of wanting to uh, make changes in your life and not rely on anyone else and yeah. to have the, the, you know, the power to do that. 